Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Immigration USA. I miss you guys. It's been such a long time since I posted a video on YouTube. But today is the day because somebody asked a question about F2B visa. So F2B visa is designed for a married adult children over 21 of a green card holder. So a green card holder can sponsor their children, adult children, unmarried that are over 21 years old, they can obtain a green card and eventually come to the US and become a US citizen. So if you want to know more about this question, stay tuned. We're going to break it down in this video. Okay guys, so F2B visa is a second preference. So it's uh, designed for unmarried children over 21 of a green card holder so they can get a visa an immigrant visa and come to the u.s and uh, eventually become a u.s citizen after five years so the question is can i get a work permit if i am on a f2b category so i'm assuming that this person is in the u.s because you can only get a work permit if you submit an application and I-485, you can get a work permit while your application is pending. But if you are outside of the U.S., you cannot get a work permit because, you know, it's only for the, if you are in the U.S., okay? So, if you are in the U.S. on a visitor visa and your visa expired, then you are out of status. Therefore, you cannot adjust your status on a family preference category, right? If you come to the U.S. with a visa, you are allowed to stay here six months. After six months, if you don't leave, you overstayed, that you are out of status. So, if you go back home in less than six months after your visa expired, you can, you're going to face a three-year bar. If you stay more than a year and then you go back home, you're going to face a 10-year bar. Therefore, it's not recommended for you to go back home. You have to stay in the U.S. I understand you're going to be out of status, but you cannot adjust on the F2B category. You got to forget that I want 30 because it's not going to happen. The only way you can adjust your status is if you marry to a U.S. citizen or if you have a child, a U.S. citizen child that's over 20 year, 21 years old. This is the only way you can stay in the U.S. and adjust your status because those are immediate relatives. There's no wait time for those visas. However, second preference, there's a long wait time depending on the category. F2B, there is a wait time at least. I think it's eight years wait time. So it's not going to work for you because you're going to be out of status for eight years. And then when your private debt is current, you cannot, you submit your I-485, it's gonna get denied because you're not supposed to adjust here in the US. You have to go back home and start consular processing. So we're gonna check out the visa bulletin for F2B. I'll show you depending on which country you come from. So there's a long wait time. And there's a number of visa allowed every year for F2B. However, Immediate relative, there's no wait time. So there's unlimited visa. So if you're married to a US citizen, a real marriage, you can get a green card. You can adjust your status here in the US. So if you submit your I-485 after the I-130 is approved, and then you submit your I-485, usually you submit both at the same time and then your application is pending, then you can get a work permit while you wait for your I-485 to be adjudicated, right? So that's the only way you can get a work permit, right? So on F2B, you cannot get a work permit. So it's not going to work in the U.S. unless you maintain a legal status all the way through for eight years. So if you come with a student visa, and you maintain a legal status all the way through for eight years until your priority date is current, then you can adjust your status in the U.S. because you have, you have maintained a legal status all the way through. But I don't know how you can maintain an F1 status for eight years unless 
if it is possible if you go for um medical schools you want to be a doctor or something like that it takes a long time to um you know to graduate eight years probably in that case maybe you can adjust your status on f2b visa probably but um or some other non-immigrant visa that you can maintain all the way through until your priority date is current then you can adjust your status okay so this is the final answer the answer is that you cannot adjust your status based on preference category if you are in the us undocumented you cannot right so we're going to check out the visa bulletin anyway for f2b category so let's take a look at this so as you can see on my screen so this is the f2b category visa bulletin for november 2024 all right so here it says all chargeability they are on may 1st 2016 so that's eight years wait time right but if you come from china it is eight years wait time you come from india they are on may 1st 2016 which is eight years wait time however if you come from mexico they are on july 1st 2005 so this is almost 19 years of wait time which is a long time right and then if you come from philippines they are on october 22nd 2011 and also this is 13 years of wait time right so then if you come from mexico you really cannot adjust your status here if you are a student you have an f1 visa you're not gonna go to school for 16 for, ni for 19 years right it's not gonna happen but in other words it doesn't really matter like i said if you you have to maintain your studies all the way through until your priority date is current in order to be able to adjust here in the us so if you are out of studies you have to go back home and start consular processing and if you go back home you are definitely gonna face a 10-year bar and then you have to wait 10 years in order to be able to apply but if you're married to a u.s citizen a legitimate married bona fide married you can get a you can adjust your status here regardless your status either you are undocumented or you are on a non-immigrant visa you can adjust your status in the u.s if you marry an immediate relative if you marry a u.s citizen or if you have a child a u.s citizen child that's over 21 years old the child can sponsor you so you can obtain your green card in the u.s all right so that's the answer for the f2b category it all depends on the situation right but most of the time you cannot adjust your status you cannot get a work permit in the u.s on the f2b category right so that was my answer my friend so i hope that this video was helpful and i um please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the notification bell for more videos and I'll come back with more and more and more. I don't know why it took me so long to come back with um, with a video. But anyway, because I've been so busy, you know, working and stuff like that. But anyway, this is it, guys. This is it. So thank you so much. And i see you guys next time. Bye-bye.